It's the Rock Man back at it again. This video is for Brother Grimm, who seems desperately determined to get me to record a video that he can clip uh, for his opening to the Road to Three Plates for Ten Reps challenge that he's issued himself. Uh, it may seem like from the comments section of this dude's video, videos that I want to see him fail for some reason, but that's not the case. Just when you start saying some of the dumb things that he says in these videos, I can't keep the sarcastic comments to myself. Uh, specifically in this video, I just want to address real quick something he said around the eight minute mark of part two of the road to the three plates, which was that using the program he used last time to develop his strength in 2017, uh, that was geared towards spectacular muscular endurance, but this program is different. Okay, go on. Uh, that where a guy like me would say, Grim, you'll need the strength to perform a 180 kilo bench press one rep max before you ever have uh, any hope of hitting three plates for 10. He says, no, not with this program. <laughs> All right. With this program, um, I would need to be, uh, I wouldn't need to develop that much strength. It's only going to need to be around 155 for five reps. Will somebody explain to this Irish bastard that 155 for five would be a high 80% of 180 kilo bench press? That if you can do 155 for five, you're within like five kilos of 180 kilo bench press, just spitting distance. But without getting out a pad and paper and doing the fucking math, I couldn't say just exactly, but it's, it's three to five kilos. Uh, just from my own training experience in the last couple months, that's right where you're looking at. So I'm not really sure uh, what makes this program so special. Uh, I see the way you're short stroking the absolute fuck out of the lockout five, six inches off the top and accelerating the bar into your chest at the bottom. Uh, you know, it's whatever a guy wants to do with his training reps or um, his competition, competition style. Uh, I hope there's some other type of weak point accessory work in there or some other type of bench press worked in with the competition movement. Uh, really, the biggest problem that I have is because I've been in the gym for 23 years, look, I've seen this same stupid mistake a thousand times from the guys who are crashing the bar into their chest. If the momentum fails to get them to a point where their shitty position uh, can't progress, then they fail the lift. Because this is not a strong position to push from only a couple inches off your chest. It's going to come back down in your throat. It doesn't matter if you shoot your ass two feet in the fucking air or not. And uh, I would like to see that addressed over, oh, I don't know, say, making your titties fatter so that you can uh, withstand more physical impact to your breastbone. I mean, come on, man. <laughs> really? So I've got a bench press video. Uh, coming out with everybody's maxes in it. The I need I wanted big trips, but uh, he just did his with a 225 dicking around five by five. I was expecting to see a 300 plus double from the way he was talking, but yeah, maybe we'll see it soon. Uh, darkness trophies because he's back in the gym training. I can't imagine uh, he still can't push 315 pounds. And West Side Boy. Uh, who I'm pretty convinced can put 350 pounds on the bar with a conventional setup, a variation any day of the week, and press it just fine. So, yeah. Hmm. I guess that's all I got. Keep training strong, and as always, thanks for watching.